Hey guys, welcome back to Educational Minds Hub. Today we're going to be talking about the inverse Pythagorean theorem. It's a theorem that I guess not many people have heard of, which is why I decided to cover it in today's video. So let's write it down. The inverse Pythagorean theorem. So basically, this theorem says that if I have a triangle, a right triangle, let me draw that. If I have this right triangle, if I have that right triangle, and let's call this side length A, let's call that side length B, let's mark this as a right angle, and let's call this whole side length C. So now, if you drew the altitude of leg C, such as like this, and it formed two perpendiculars like this, and if you were to call this H, then the inverse Pythagorean theorem says that 1 over A squared plus 1 over B squared equals... 1 over h squared. So basically, um, today in today's video, I'm going to be proving this theorem. It's not going to be a standard geometric proof, but basically it's just a proof. A proof that um, should make sense, hopefully. And I will put further reading into the description of this video. So, hopefully with this proof, you can also see how to incorporate the uh, inverse Pythagorean theorem into some problems. Alright, so for the proof, let me construct a triangle, another right triangle. And let's call this leg 3 and this leg four, and this is a right triangle. And then we have this here. So, and then let's call this side length D, let's call this E, and let's call this whole side length C. So, here, let me make this D a little bit more, a little bit more visible. One sec. So this side length is D. And that side length is E. So because of the Pythagorean theorem, we know this has to be a 3, 4, 5 triangle, which means C has to equal 5, according to the Pythagorean theorem. So let's see it, how we can use this information and the inverse Pythagorean theorem to actually prove the inverse Pythagorean theorem. So let's start by finding h. Let's call that h. So 1 over a squared, which is 3. So 3 squared plus 1 over b squared, which is 4 squared, equals 1 over h squared. So because I just put this leg where a is, this leg where B is, just like you would do in the normal Pythagorean theorem. Then you continue to solve this. You get 1 over 9 plus 1 over 16 equals 1 over h squared. By simply adding those fractions up, 1 over 9 plus 1 over 16, um, you get 25 over 144. But now, if you want to solve for h squared, and you have 1 over h squared, to solve for that, you take the reciprocal of both sides. So I'm just going to flip it. You'd get h squared equals 144 over 
25. Now, when you solve for your value of h, you would get a value of h equals 12 over 5. Or obviously you could get the negative 12, negative 12 over negative 5, but basically um, you don't do with negative distances. Okay, so now, anyway, we've got our value of h, which is down here. And now basically we know that this h over here is 12 by 5. Now we know that this is a perpendicular and this is a perpendicular. And if that's the case, then we should be able to solve for d and e. And if the sum of d and e equals 5, then we know that the value of h was correct. And that means the formula that we used to derive h, thus the inverse Pythagorean theorem, is correct. So let's do it. So let's start with, let me make some space here. Let's start with um, D. So we know that anything across the right angle is the hypotenuse. So if we follow the right angle, we know that the 3 is the hypotenuse, which means we can set the equation up as 12 over 5 squared plus um, D squared equals um, 3 squared and if you subtract 12 over 5 squared you'd get d squared equals 3 squared minus 12 over 5 squared and d equals the square root of 3 squared minus 12 over 5 squared and to simplify that we'd get an answer of so simplifying that value down you get a value of d equals 1.8 and we can replace this as 1.8 now if we do the same thing for e to prove that this theorem works we should get a value of 3.2 because 3.2 plus 1.8 will equal 5. Let's see if we get 3.8, 3.2 for the value of E. Once again, you follow the right angle and the hypotenuse is 4. So you can set it up as, whoops, did not mean to write D there. You can set that up as E squared equals the hypotenuse squared minus the leg squared and of course you'd get e equals the square root of 4 squared minus 12 by 5 squared simplifying that would get you an answer of you would indeed get a value of 3.2 now for the final proof the final home stretch of this proof you would say that you know that c equals the sum of d plus e and the sum of c equals or the value of c we know is 5 so 5 equals 1.8 plus 3.2 5 equals 5 and we have no no doubtedly proven the inverse pythagorean Theorem. Now, guys, I hope you liked this video. Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button so you can continue learning on with Educational Minds Hub. And I will provide further reading into this because basically, pretty interesting theorem. Not many people have heard of it. I'll, I'll provide a, you know, um, a normal 
proof of it, like a standard geometric proof, not this kind of proof. And then I'll put an article on basically what it is in a, in a nutshell. Um, once again, um, hit the subscribe button. Have a good day, everybody. Learn on.